Okay, so I wanted to answer a question that I saw on Discord, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, and I feel really deserves kind of a, a, a succinct answer. So this video is going to be pretty short, because we can get right to the point and answer the question right away. So this guy's asking, <clears throat> I know the rules say no to politics. Of course, most Discords uh, forbid any political or religious discussions. Um, but you guys were talking about politics as a subject, so I'll add one thing. I think nowadays it's extremely difficult to have civilized political discussions because people tend to politicize everything, even the most mundane things, and it's frustrating and saddening. I don't know what the root cause of this toxic politi politi politicization, <laughs> politicization, that's a hard word, is, but I'd like to know and resolve it ASAP. I feel like social media can be a factor. So I'm not entirely sure what he is like referencing specifically about being politicized. Um, you know, sometimes uh, people can refer to, you know, like social issues as political issues. Um, in America, uh, things are very divided, people say, right, on racial grounds. Really, though, um, when we say America's divided, we're really talking about white people are actually divided. White people are divided between those who are okay with transitioning from a white ethno state, a white ethno nationalist state, to a non white ethno nationalist state, and those who are not. And whites are just divided on that issue. If you look at any other racial group, they are not divided in America. Um, but we'll just assume, for the sake of argument, that he's talking broadly, and we can give a broad answer. To this question and I did respond to it so let me bring that up here okay so here is my response to answer your question some things became politicized because of money in politics forcing something that should be apolitical to become politicized Basically, it's a system of legalized bribes under the guise of campaign contributions to compel a politician to take a position on a certain issue and vote a certain way. This corrupt bribed politician then convinces their flock of followers who like them from an unrelated issue to agree with them on this issue that they had zero opinion on previously. It's called identity politics, where your racial or religious identity then dictates which political party you support, and then the leaders of that political party essentially just tell you how to think on a variety of other unrelated issues that should have never been politicized in the first place. So we can talk about like a specific issue here, like for example, the issue of global warming. Global warming is a scientific issue. It is not a political issue. However, it became politicized because there were many businesses, like for example, oil companies, who realized that this push for greener technology uh, would undermine their bottom line, their profits. And so instead of doing the moral thing, the just thing, which is investing in technologies that could therefore benefit their company uh, in the long run as we transition to greener, more environmentally friendly uh, <clears throat> technologies, instead of doing that, they decide to deny reality and say that global warming is not real in the first place. Um, this is not a political issue. However, they would give legalize bribes to politicians who seem to be more inclined to just believe whatever lies they tell them. So they give, they throw money at uh, politicians, legalize bribes, to then say, hey, can you deny global warming for us? It'll, it'll help us maintain our profits. And that's what they do. Now, for conservatives, uh, global warming is not core to their identity. What's core to their identity is basically white identity politics. You know, they're white people working in the South and the middle class and their place in society. They want to maintain their place in society. So that means undermining any attempt to empower non-white people and their advancement. Anything, any measures taken to advance, for example, black people especially, would undermine their position in society. So they oppose those things. Uh, they oppose... Um, uh, legal access to abortion for women uh, on religious grounds. 
uh, their religious identity dictates their political identity because many religious fundamentalist Christians are part of the conservative uh, the conservative spectrum and are Republican. So and also gun control issues. So these are all core to their identity issues that they feel very strongly about and they agree on. However, then their their Republican leaders tell them how to feel about unrelated issues that are not core to their identity, like global warming. And the average hick in the Midwest doesn't know jack about global warming, is totally indifferent about global warming, and doesn't care about global warming, but will agree with what their cult leader tells them to believe in because they agree with them on these other core issues like abortion or white identity politics. So, long story short, the reason why apolitical issues become politicized is because of money and politics, and that is exactly the reason why we need to get money out of politics.